I'm gonna make you host. Thank you. Yep. Okay. And then I'm gonna say, have a great meeting. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Have a happy vacation. All right. Gosh, it feels like when your when your parents leave you home alone for the first time. Whenever Athena leaves. Um, all right, everyone, it is August 22nd, Thursday at 6.30 p.m., and I'm going to call this meeting of GOL to order. It's been a minute since we've met, so thank you all for, for joining us this week. Um, I'm going to start by making sure folks can hear and be heard. Let's start with Lynn Griesmer. Present. Excellent. Uh, George Ryan. I'm here. Excellent. And Pat DeAngelis. I'm here, and my Bluetooth is not working so i have to figure no. out carol can hear everything so you gotta figure out what um, i did wrong do you put computer audio on when you're you using? have computer audio on but there's a little carrot next to the audio button a uh, little arrow if you click that make sure your speaker is set to your bluetooth headphones and your um, microphone is set to your bluetooth headphones okay i'll have to i'll do that next time i guess um now test speak switch to phone audio all right while pat is solving that we are going to move through um to our agenda items and if Councilor ate joins us we will um we will make sure that he can hear and be heard as well so we are going to start i believe with public comment um and hang on i just want to make sure that was first in the agenda yep all right so we're going to start with public comment uh if we have any uh, attendees who would like to make public comment, you can raise your hands now. Dr. Shabazz, I know you are also here for another item on the agenda. If you'd like to make public comment, you're welcome to um, by raising your hand in Zoom. All right, going once, going twice. Okay, so we're going to start today. We've got three things on our agenda today. We have the African Heritage Reparation Assembly successor body charge. We have the uh, review of bylaw 3.26, nuisance property, and then we have a resolution. I'm planning to spend roughly 45 minutes on each of the first two items, saving the last uh, 15 for um, uh, the resolution, knowing that all of those things will likely go over. Um, but that's my, th those are my aspirations, if it sounds good for everyone, uh, if that sounds good to everybody else. So, oh, excellent. I'm still here. So glad you're here. Sorry uh, if you didn't hear the first part when I was talking to you. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So we're going to start off with the African Heritage Reparation Assembly uh, successor body charge. And I'm going to bring in Dr. Shabazz um, if he would like to join us. Um, and excellent. And then I'm going to pull up the notes. Hello, Dr. Shabazz. Hello. Here. Um, <clears throat> How are you? You're available for any assistance. All right, great. Thank you. So last we met was July 8th. Last we discussed this was July 18th. Um, and I know we had some members absent. So I want to just spend a minute reviewing what we did last time. Um, it was in your packet, but I'm going to share it on my screen as well. Um, and really just to kind of contextualize this as a reminder of what we're doing, because it's been a minute. Um, the uh, AHRA final report included a draft charge for a successor body. Um, we as GOL are responsible for uh, looking at that draft charge and finalizing a recommendation for a charge for this committee to the council. So we, it was really helpful to have a um, starting document. I think both Michelle Miller, who was uh, here last time, who's unfortunately not able to join us today, and Dr. Shabazz shared that this was not something that was set in stone by HRA. And so um, it was really helpful to have uh, to have a representative here from the uh, former AHRA committee to talk through some of their process as they went. But really, this is something that was um, was built in pencil. And so we're it's we're going through this to create something that can be etched in stone, basically, to take that metaphor further. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. 
and we'll just review where we are. So this was the charge that um, I pulled from the report. I just kind of turned it into a Word document. So please forgive any formatting errors that you might see. And I'll zoom in a little before someone asked me to. Wow, zoomed in too much. Okay, is that all right? Everybody can see? Okay. Pat. A little bigger more. was better. A little more. All right. Ooh. Ah, I want to be able to see it all still. Okay. Is that all right? Okay, thank you. So, a um, couple of areas just for folks who weren't um, with us last time couple of areas that we were talking about, we talked about the number of voting members being five um, versus five to seven. We thought it was clear to have a concrete number and that five committee members is going to be more nimble for this body. I'm also going to look to, I think it was George and Lynn, did we lose? Oh, no, I stole George. Okay. Um, I think it was George and Lynn who were with us last time um, to correct the record. If I, if I misrepresent any of our conversation, please. So we talked about, and Dr. Shabazz, you were here too. Um, talked about the number of voting members being five uh, because they would be able to move a bit more nimbly. Um, we've had trouble filling spots on committees recently. And so um, we felt that we wanted a concrete number and that five was the better number. Um, and then we switched the number of non-voting members to none, but um, this was an area of discussion that we thought we might bring to the council. Is this a body where we should make an exception and appoint a non-voting member to it? Um, we thought that that was a better fit to for a council discussion. Um, and then we took out the note on liaisons because no committee is guaranteed a liaison. And so we didn't want to put it in the charge of the committee. We kept the term of appointment and the SME status, uh, as well as the staff support area. So composition, we um, one of the topics of discussion was that we have found from KP law that we are not allowed to specify um, uh, race or ethnicity or I think gender on um, on committee composition. So we took this part out um, and then we ended up taking this part out. And, and basically what we decided on was instead adding language saying we encourage representation from dot 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 and we encourage representation from youth or higher education institutions um, to kind of get at the spirit of what this composition note was trying to do without mandating it and breaking the law any questions so far okay so we spent some time here on the purpose statement um so the the purpose initially was very quickly, um, or was very simple, excuse me, was the to carry forward the work of AHRA and um, <coughs> the of AHRA recommendations from the final report. And one of the things that we talked about is in the past, there's been some challenges for committees who have been tasks, tasked with extremely wide mandates that not, aren't always feasible. And so what we wanted to do in this purpose statement was give this committee a bit of latitude to be able to learn and um, further the work that they were initially that the AHRA committee was initially doing without necessarily being bound to all of the recommendations in the AHRA final report. So the purpose statement now reads in light of the council's long standing goal of advancing racial equity and social justice and continued co commitment to dismantle structural racism in Amherst. ABRC's mission is to carry forward the work of the AHRA guided by the recommendations in the AHRA final report. So we're trying to reference that this is the product of a lot of work um, and a lot of commitment put forward by different folks in, uh, in the town. Okay. I saw people move. Okay, all right. Uh, Councilor Ate. Um, it is succinct. Um, I was wondering, guided by how strong that is. So, oh, Lynn, you're muted. No, go ahead. I just, I. Oh, oh okay. Um, I think we we intended it to not be extremely strong language because we didn't want them to feel required to to only to like to only 
to have to carry forward everything in that report. So it's intentionally a little bit looser because we wanted them to use that as their inspiration, their jumping off point. But there were some things in the report that the council may not ultimately approve um, or they may decide aren't the top priority right now. And so we wanted to have them be able to adapt um, if something if, if something came up. Does that answer your question? Okay, thank you. Lynn? Yeah, so I this is one of the areas where I feel we need to be a little more explicit so that uh, it, it's guided by the recommendations in the AHRA re final report that the town council has identified as priorities. I Because otherwise, basically, this says anything in the report. And... I don't know. The council hasn't had that discussion. Um, I can't raise my hand where I'm screen sharing, but, but Lynn, I think that is where we get at the charge. I think my question is the way that you just framed that makes it seem like the council is going to go through the report first and decide which recommendations we want this group to pursue, which was not my understanding of the process. My understanding based on the charge that we wrote last time is that the ABRC is providing recommendations to the council that the council then approves. And, so and I, I think we oh. we need to decide which which ones which which order. Um, I disagree with uh, handing the whole report over to a committee and saying you're guided by this report. I feel the council has to have that discussion. Um, we did have that discussion with the S um with the report from the CSWG. Um and even then um CSSJC has not necessarily stuck to those seven identified areas. And I it, when a report is done and brought to the council, it is not adopted in totality. It is a report of a committee, and then a town council needs to decide where it's going, where it wants to place priority on recommendations. And we haven't done that. And I, I do think that is a step we need to take. And I think this charge needs to reflect the fact that we have to take that step. Lynn, I... I... Um, I'm going to go to George, but I just want to note that what you just said, in my understanding, would negate all three of these bullets. So I, I want to have some discussion on that because I think that's, I don't agree with you, but um, I, I want us to keep in mind what we wrote in the charge last time as we're having this discussion now. Councilor Ryan? Yeah, I think we have to distinguish between the job of the council in communicating to the community um, making clear what we do and what we can and not do. And this particular charge, um, I don't think you can use the charge as a substitute for what we need to do as counselors. So we as counselors, um, during our deliberations and in our public comments, I think need to reinforce Lynn's point, which is um, not everything in that report is necessarily something that this council has agreed to do or will do or can do. Um, but the charge simply says that um, we're asking this committee in light of or guided by the recommendations in this this remarkable report um, to continue the work of reparations. So I guess I don't see, I just don't see how you can use the charge to um, sort of micromanage this. I think the language, I have no problem with the language. I have no problem with referencing that report. I don't for a moment believe personally that by that language then implies or, or is stating in any way, shape, or form that everything in that report is approved by the council, et cetera, et cetera. That's, gonna, that's not what this says. It simply says, guided by this report, we'd like you to continue the work and make recommendations to us. But um, So I understand Lynn's concern, but I think that the way to address that is in council and through public statement and making things clear in our discussion. Um, but I don't think the charge is the vehicle to do that. Thank you. 
Um, Pat, you're muted. Thank you. It, it does seem to me the way the purpose is written feels quite comfortable. They're being guided by the recommendations. Being guided doesn't mean that you take a direct path and do this step, this step, this step. And it seems to me that the recommendations were really areas, uh, housing, you know, youth, uh, business. But I all, so I don't see, I don't think anything about the town council has to be in that, in the purpose. I also think it's addressed recommend to the council uh, suggested actions based on prioritized recommendations, which that the committee has worked on prioritizing and the council uh, has heard their recommendation and made decisions as part of the charge. Um, the, I think the line that I'm uncomfortable with in the charge is the final one well, not, it's not really the final one, but the final one on this page, support implementation of the recommendations in the African Heritage Reparation Assembly's final report. And, and that seems like we're saying everything that is in there, all of them will be in this, where it really is support implementation of the recommendations made to town council or something like that. So Pat, are you saying, because because if we look at the other items, um, and I guess we're now moving kind of, we're combining sort of purpose yeah. and charge. I'm sorry. I just want to, no, 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 you're fine. Um, They they go together. It's it's not really possible to tease them apart. But so what, are you saying that adding language in something along the lines of support implementation of the recommendations approved by town council? Something um, like that. Something like that. I don't love that, like that exact wording, but um, yeah, I don't either. Uh, but 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 I think if we can we're play being with honest, that idea. right? It is very important. We haven't had this discussion in council. Council could change this whole charge, although I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but I I think one of the things that is painful sometimes is the community safety working group made a series of recommendations. And therefore, the belief was that all of those recommendations would be instituted. And this is not a judgment on the value of those things, but the sort of impact of uh, the idea that it would get exactly as a committee said it would be. And But we're really asking committees to forward recommendations to the council and for the council to decide and and on on the priority of those or the feasibility, although we're asking for those things also from this group. But then we reflect on it and we decide, um, approve, disapprove. I, I don't like that terminology so much. Yeah, I agree. We'll we'll play with that terminology a little bit, but that I just wanted to capture the idea there. Lynn. Um hold on. Okay. Uh, no, uh, just go ahead. Thank you. And take oh, okay. Counselor, Counselor Essay? Um, I, I don't know how reading that statement, support implementation of the recommendations approved by town council. What are the recommendations that will be approved by town council? How will they be approved? So the the wording, uh, I I think we will need to tweak the wording going with the cons concerns that we have, and we do have concerns. Perhaps yeah. it is simply that there is a report that is out. There is a successor body that will be guided by that report, and this successor body may have recommendations or priorities of its own, which it can recommend to the council of which the council then has an opportunity to agree or disagree with some of those recommendations. So I, I think I have a sense of where Lynn might be going, but I don't think that that is necessary if we as the council simply make the case that we end up taking recommendations as they are. That is, we do not have to accept recommendations simply because they come 
to the council. Right. So I'm gonna raise my hand and take us back. And I wanna just like, partly from my own understanding, but the difference between the purpose and the charge, the purpose is really kind of the context for why this group exists. The charge is what they're going to do. Um, so that's, that's how I'm viewing these. So Lynn, I don't share the concern that you have about this group going or, or taking this as, you know, not needing approval because their charge is very clear um, that that these things should come to council. Where I disagree with what I understood you to be saying, I don't think that the council has the time or the understanding to dig into those recommendations piece by piece and decide which ones we want to pursue. I think that this group should come to us with that, this where we talked about the prioritized list and that, that is what the council should look at and say, go forth, right? It's sort of that two-step process of the charge of this group is that they look at that, that really excellent but beastly final report. They look at the recommendations, provide recommendations um, to the council, including priority level and feasibility, and then um, make recommendations on any further actions that are beyond what's in the report to the council gap here kind of represents the council saying, you know, okay, we agree, like go forth with these. And then they start moving forward on the implementation. But there is that council approval step. I just don't think that the council is the body that should be reading through this report and saying, this is what we should do now. I think that should be the, the work of the successor body with the council then rubber stamping it, if that makes sense. Pat? Yeah, what you're saying makes sense to me. And something that Councilor Ette said is uh, knocking around in my brain, which is this committee may very well come up with other recommendations that are not based on the uh, Her African Heritage Reparation Assembly's final report, because they're mm -hmm. going to be periodically consulting with the Black community. Uh, about the allocations of reparations funds. And it may be that the community wants something in the second year that's very different than what has been listed in the uh, final report. So I'm not sure. Um, I don't I don't know if that's an important point right this second, but the idea that the community will be consulted twice a year is pretty important to me. Um, and therefore, yeah. are they being consulted? Are they just giving, being given a report? Or are they contributing to uh, the implementation of these things uh, to the decisions made about what gets funded? I'm going to focus us in because Pat brought us, I want to be able to scroll down to the next page. Um, and so Lynn, did you have specific language that you wanted to propose changing in the purpose statement? No, I think committee can I, I think this discussion has been useful because it when we put in support implementation of the recommendations approved by town council, maybe it's not me, even okay, in Maybe it's not even in the African Heritage Reparation Assembly final report. Support implementation of recommendations brought forward by this committee and approved by the town council. So in other words, I, I'm, I'm really playing off of what Pat just said. The report is rich, but this group has the responsibility of coming to the council and saying, here's what we would like to recommend that we spend money on. Okay. There's a, a fund. They're gonna make they're gonna make say say some priorities, and those priorities should shape what they then recommend the fund should support. Okay. And those prior and and again, because there is this ongoing consultation with the black community that could change even beyond what the report already says because i i mean maybe part of me is wrestling with the fact that i think of this body as 
providing serious thought and recommendations to the council as to how to spend the money in the fund. Okay, that, so George, that's- okay. Oh, oh, sorry, that's were you it. done? I'm sorry, Lynn. Okay. No, that's Council Ryan. Just a reminder, I believe, uh, as Dr. Shabazz pointed out last time we met, there's much more in this report than just about money. So some yeah. of the recommendations will have nothing to do with money, but right. could be as important or equally important. So um, I understand the concern about uh, the financial side of things, but I think we need to keep in mind that there's much more in this than just money. Yeah. Are folks comfortable with this? With, first off, let's start with the ones that we added, because I think they're a bit redundant. Um, so looking at the charge, the items in the charge, um, I think, yeah, Councilor Ryan. Two quick thoughts. I'm sorry to interrupt so quickly, but first, I assume then we are all happy with the language in the purpose section. Mm -hmm. um, I think Lynn suggested that she might be, but I don't want to speak for her. I'm happy with the language in the purpose section. And so I'd like us to move along in a systematic way. Otherwise, we're going to be jumping back and forth. Um, and I, I'm second... fine with the purpose. Okay. Sorry, I, 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 I thought that folks were good with it. I apologize. Does no, anyone we, we else want clear, to discuss yeah. purpose? Right. Yep. Does anyone I'm else have fine. anything else to discuss in the purpose section? Okay. All right. Moving on to the items in the charge. And so a second point, uh, my memory, it may be wrong, is that that that, that the reduplication is part of the fact that um, I think the second set of bullets that are separated by the space was an attempt to rewrite or edit the first set. Um, but maybe I'm misremembering. In other words, they, it's not separate points, but I, I, I don't remember how you did it, uh, but my, my I, I agree it's, there's duplication here in the second set of three. Um, I, I took that second set to be replacement for um, the first three that are already there. Is that how people took it? Or do they think they seem to be pretty much- I took it the opposite way. <laughs> oh, you thought that, um, that this top three were were edits on the bottom three? I thought that the top three were uh, getting closer to what we had been discussing. Okay. Um, and I'm happy to explain why. Okay, good. Um, so sure. I think this is, I think one of the reasons why I think this was where we were getting closer was that this feels like the, the order of things that we wanted. Um, and that we wanted to have happen. So starting off, they review the report. That was something that we felt was important to include in the charge um, and that they provide those recommendations to the town council, including related to priority level and feasibility. Um, and then based on that priority and feasibility also make recommendations on further action and next steps. Um, so I, I guess I don't necessarily feel strongly one or the other, but I do think this is more logical for me. Lynn? I actually think based on what George is saying, the fourth bullet, establish yes, feasibility and priority. I mean, if you're going to include it, it should be after the very first bullet. And then they, they, you know, they, they, in other words, they look at the recommendations in the report. They establish feasibility and priority levels. They come to the council and then based on the discussion with the council, they um, move to implementation. So that somewhere in here, I think there's about four bullets instead of six. Okay, mm. so can you clarify what, okay, so you're saying it would they be- They review the recommendations, one, that's one. And then this they one. Establish the feasibility of, re of various recommendations and priority levels. Yep. Okay, then they provide those to the council. This one? Yeah. Or is it this one? It, 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 I think it could be the uh, second bullet. And then okay. get rid so of I'm gonna move this that. Here. Okay, and then get rid of the recommend, recommend to the council suggested actions. Because that's basically okay, so cut these things. provide recommendations to the town council but priority level feasibility. Well, that would be this one. Yeah, that takes care of that. Okay. So the charge, so just the first couple bullets, I know there's a bunch down here, but the first couple bullets of this charge would read, review the recommendations in the AHRA final report, establish feasibility and priority level of AHRA recommendations, 
provide recommendations to the town council related to priority level and feasibility of the AHRA final report recommendations and based on priority and feasibility, make recommendations on further action to the town council. That almost is redundant. Yes, can it we skip? Is. Yeah. I think you can get rid of that bullet. This one? Yeah. This was the one um, that I think we had talked about as being giving them permission to suggest actions beyond just the uh, recommendations. Okay. I think that was the further actions was the. Okay. But I'm wondering if. Yeah. I think what if we said establish feasibility and priority level of AHRA recommendations and provide said recommendations for action to the town council. Yeah, fine. Uh, 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 no, 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 I'm gonna you know, write, it? write it and see what it looks like, but okay. yeah, I'm not, yeah. Um, I kind of prefer them as separate points, but you know. Okay. But let's go ahead. Let's write it out and see what people think. Um, I can't remember what else I said. Provide recommendations for action to the town council. Well, I think you just, it's you're just below, right. just related to priority level and feasibility. Uh, it's right. I think you're just taking that. Do I need to say that again, though? If well, it's... I think we're going to del delete the one below. Um, yeah, yeah. But I, I, yeah. I kind of like it breaking into very concrete steps. Review the recommendations, establish feasibility and priority, then provide mm -hmm. recommendations based on, on what you've determined in terms of priority and feasibility. Um, mm -hmm. And then I think that would be it for this particular report. But I think somewhere we need to say something to the effect that they are invited and perfectly free to make other recommendations. They're not just limited to what's in that report. All right. So you're saying don't have this in there. I'm suggesting you have a separate point, which, you know, so first is review. Second is establish feasibility and priority. And third is then uh, and whenever provide. Is provide recommendations for action right. based, based on um your uh, you know analysis of priority and feasibility so pretty much one two and three as you have it yeah related to or based on maybe based on or related to based on priority level and feasibility we can tidy that up a bit but yeah so that and that last one then is is could be eliminated the fourth one um, right. And That's, you're saying frame it differently elsewhere to say they're not bound to the report. Yes, moment. somewhere. I think somewhere we definitely need to say that that this does not um, mean they cannot make other recommendations based on their, you know, they're going to be talking to the community um, and there's, mm -hmm. they're going to be having their, they have their own, right? So, right. Okay. Um, all right. Lots of changes here. Let's, this is a bit messy, but if people are still following it. Um, Councilor Ete, Pat, You've been a little quiet. Do you have anything to add? Uh, I think that's okay. I'm looking down further. So okay. I'm okay. And I don't know whether you want to go there or not. Um, let's step let's go step there in a minute. Let's finish with this page and then yeah. if it because yeah. I don't think because I don't some think of these things might need to be moved, but let's stay where we are. Okay. Um okay, so I would like, yeah, based they on, are, you know, I'm sorry. sorry. In that no, third no, no, I was item. just going to read them out, so go ahead. Go ahead. Third you read them out, yeah. Okay. The ABRC shall, and Dr. Shabazz, always feel free to jump in at any point, please, too. Um, the ABRC shall review the recommendations in the AHRA final report, establish feasibility and priority level of AHRA recommendations, provide recommendations for actions to the town council related to priority level and feasibility of the AHRA final report recommendations. I would, uh, support. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Th there I would suggest based on, so um, not related to, but based on. Yeah. Does, that, does that make better sense to people? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
based on priority right. level and feasibility of the um you might even just leave it at that <laughs> yeah it can stop yeah. at feasibility yeah yeah otherwise it's so many because it's re yeah. recommendations yeah, i think so sorry um no, you're fine. And then lastly, support implementation of the recommendations brought forward by the committee and approved by the town council. Let's talk about that one. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, I think it might be fine. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, support implementation, other recommendations. I mean, what, what, what are we, I mean, what are we asking them or expecting them to do? Um, it's a really good question. Um, that is. I, I assume, right, uh, depending on what the town council finally does, members of this committee may be very much in favor of it or very much not in favor of it. Um, but they'll make that decision as individuals and perhaps as a group. But um, it seems like uh, we're walking a fine line here and maybe Dr. Shabazz will weigh in at some point whether we're micro, trying to micromanage this body, which is not what I want us to do, but also give them a pretty clear sense of what our expectation is. I, I just don't, I wonder if this is a, going a bit too far or what do people have in mind by support implementation? Um, what if they don't like what the council finally decides to do? Are they still required by the charge to support it? I would think that they wouldn't anyway, but anyway. Lynn? Yeah. Give an example. Suppose they come forward with a recommendation that says we'd like to take, you know, four percent interest from the fund this year, which equals X amount of money, and we would like it based on proposals we've received to distribute it to the following four organizations to support, I don't know, education. Okay, something like that. Once the council approves that, it basically it's a staff thing. It's just like a CPA grant. So I'm not clear what we mean support here. Part of me wonders if we should add the words as appropriate. Dr. Shabazz? Yeah, that, that, that interesting yeah. to hear. I, I, I'm hearing the reasoning on this, and I think maybe this language was just a carryover from uh, uh, the, the idea of kind of implementing the, the report. I, I don't think you really need, need this bullet item. It's you, the, the committee will have other, um, other items, other things to do than, you know, worry about the once an item has been acted upon, however it's acted upon, whether it follows what was recommended or it goes beyond it or differs with it. But the, the presumably they go back to the community and they think about, you know, and, the, and they're, it, it, it's an ongoing process. So I, I just don't think you necessarily need uh, need to worry about that. They things move on. We also, sorry, I lost my raise hand button, but because um, I'm screen sharing, but we also had talked about putting something in this uh, charge about revisiting this committee charge after the first term or after two years or something like that, um, which might be a more appropriate time when once we know what the recommendations are to revisit and say, now this body can support, now that we know what the, the recommendations are, this body can support them and we see that, so we're going to rewrite the charge so that they can do that. Because um, when I see your point that some things may fall mostly to staff, some things might not. I we don't know yet. So I think maybe taking this out, but adding something in about reevaluating this charge at X date or something like that might get. I, I don't want us to also end up with a point where we have to a point where we have a committee with a defunct charge that doesn't mean anything anymore. Um, Councilor Ette. I'm wondering if there are any examples of other committees in town that have similar language of um, supporting implementation of something um, that the council. Both the both the um, 
CSSJC and the Energy and Climate Action Committee have language uh, similar to this about supporting implementation. Um, I, uh, they have it framed differently. And I, if someone wants to pull those up and reference them, that might be helpful. But I think that there's also a difference between supporting implementation and implementing. Um, I think that that's also a really important distinction. They're supporting might mean a host of things. They are not responsible for the implementation. They are here to support it. Um, but if, if someone could pull up the ECAC charge and the CSSJC charge, because both of those groups are grounded in documents, um, like, like the reparations report, the HRA final report, excuse me. Dr. Shabazz, your hand is still up. I wasn't sure if you had something else to add or uh, if it was a lingering hand. Yeah, I, I, I just would say that um, I don't know. I'm, my worry is not so much about if something that was approved then differed from what was originally there and you're asking them to then be in support of, of implementing. It's not, uh, if that's the intended sense, then again, I don't know that that's language that is necessary, but um I'm really just thinking that it sort of goes without saying that if there's something they recommended that um, the uh, council then approves and acts upon, that if there is some follow-up aspect to it that the committee itself could be useful to, I would think since it's something they originally proposed, they would automatically uh, you know stand in support or would work to support whatever whatever it was that they recommended that got approved that you know now needs them to to do something with so uh, I guess just for me I'm in the uh, uh, I'm in support of keeping things as as uh, uncluttered and and uh, and just really the essential things and this one just doesn't seem to be essential. Okay, thank you. Um, are there any objections to removing this bullet in full? No. Okay. All right. Oh, Pat. No, I'm I'm fine. I'm getting ready to okay, go. Okay, ready? Down. Are you so. been re you've been waiting. You're so ready. All right. <laughs> I don't okay, know if I'm so ready. The, I think one of the things. Pat, go ahead. Uh, oversee the town's reparations fund and uh, identify additional. So that's fabulous and it should be in there. The, uh, consult with the black community on a biannual basis. Uh, this, I think it should be moved up and accept proposals from the community through a process determined by this body becomes very important. Um, and, of, you know, and uh, let me see, work with other town committees. Uh, and those are things, and it's almost like oh, the oversee the town's reparations fund and identify a dish. That seems like a, a really separate agenda where the consult with the black community, accept proposals, need, feels like it needs to go up with recommendations because they would be making new, potentially new or uh, solidifying a, a previous recommendation because that's what the community is still looking for. So it just feels like in the wrong place. Okay, wait, so I wanna, I'm gonna do this as a comment just to keep us on this nice clean page since we met, since I mucked this one all up. Um, so you're saying the, this bullet you want moved up, is that correct? I want to actually- the black community? Yes, and the next one as well. And and if we move all of them up, then they're we're going to be in the same problem. So um, you're saying that these ones should be up before, perhaps. Like, uh, in the I'm I'm second guessing myself. It just says, it just seems like we're it, saying that the community. This is a living body of people who are going to be responding to events, issues uh, in the community. Uh, and so the initial recommendations um, might be changed by the committee itself. So it feels it be, as a result of those conversations. So it seems to me that they go, uh, 
above that in some way uh, because I, I hear it because uh -huh. they can I hear accept what you're saying yeah but I, my question to you then was a lot of the recommendations weren't necessarily about allocating allocation of funds a lot of the recommendations right. a lot of the reports yeah, were yeah. specific to that so I'm curious how to um, yeah, I don't kind know. of level those things. Um, okay, but I'm gonna re I'm gonna add this as a comment. Possibly move. Possible. I can't spell. Y'all, it's hard to be <laughs> dyslexic when you're screen sharing. Possible yeah. move to higher on list. My recommendations for action. Consult. Except for maybe those okay, are really so separate. I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's keep, hand and we'll, shut we'll, up. Uh, Councilor Ryan? I don't share the concern about the order. I think that what's important is it's in here. That's what's important. I don't think that anyone reading this is going to be, um, you know, so I don't think you have to move anything around as long as everything that's in it is what we want in it. Um, so I think you can leave things where they are, for, at least for the moment. I have a question about oversee. I don't know what that means. So... Mm -hmm. I'd like that to be clarified, um, but I don't have a problem with the order, and I still want to make sure by the time we're done that somewhere in here is a, a bullet point that makes it clear that this body is perfectly free to bring any other recommendations that they think are appropriate related to the issue that this is about. So maybe by the time we're done, that'll be pretty clear from all the bullet points, but I want to make sure that somewhere it's there. Um, but I don't think order is a problem. Um, but I do have a question about oversee. Could somebody explain to me what that means? Uh, Lynn? I, I was going to raise that as well. It's the committee's role is to advise on the expenditure of the reparations fund. Is it, it, I mean, yes, they'll be overseeing it. Yes, they will determine, you know, gee, we think we could spend this much money off of it this year. Therefore, we're going to recommend to the council that they distribute the money in the following way. So it's more than oversee, it's advise. Well, oversee in my mind, um, seems to imply a, a, a level of authority and decision making that this body simply doesn't have. Um, I agree. So yeah. that, that's how I would read it naturally. Um, so either we come up with a better verb. Um, Advise and make recommendation of the expenditure of the funds. From, uh, I, I think, think that's. I just that's, I tried to jot down what Lynn was saying and and yeah. added in what George said to to this last I like, bullet here. I like I like that. I like what you wrote. And then. Do we think a second bullet on identify additional sources of funding, or is uh, is that something yes. that we are not expecting this body to do? Okay, great. Um, identify uh, additional sources of funding for preparative justice. One of the things that I know I'm gonna so I'm gonna say cut this because we've replaced it down here um, with these two bullets. One of the question marks that I know was coming up. I'm sorry, Lynn, were you done? No, I'm done. I'm sorry. I keep Okay. Um you're fine, you're fine. So was that we don't want to identify additional sources of funding, yes, but that we are we're trying to not get in the practice of having committees writing grants because we often can't follow that through with staffing to administer the grants. And right. so I think I'd like to be very clear that we are asking them to identify additional sources but not apply for um because we need to make sure not not that we won't apply for them but that's a decision that really needs to be made by staff um whether or not they have the bandwidth so i just want to be really careful and clear in that verbiage and i want to make sure folks think that that's clear and if people disagree with me we can totally have that discussion too um I think, but I, I think that was a concern from town staff uh, about seeking funding, Lynn. I agree with you totally. And so, oh, I, sorry. Go ahead. I'm like jumping on people's tails today. I'm so sorry, Councillor Ete. Lynn, are you finished? Yes. Okay. Um, you then run the risk 
that once you identify the source and mention it to the town and the town is unable, perhaps for manpower reasons, to follow up, that, that can send the wrong look. So there's the there's the danger of the town has people who write grants. What makes it appropriate to write this grant as opposed to this other grant? I see what you're saying. Len? How about identify possible additional sources so that it's not, it, it's like, you know, they say, here is this foundation that might fund this would the town be able to apply? And it's so it's possible sources. Okay. Dr. Shabazz? Yeah, I just wanted to mention, I, um, I think in some of our original thoughts and deliberations about this, it, it had to do with um, really thinking about uh, funding streams that already exist within uh, the the town and whether a particular item a particular recommendation might be uh, appropriate to be directed toward that already existing funding source rather than out of the uh, the fund that is that has been set aside that's being set aside. So, for example, if it had to do with some type of uh, uh, something in the area, areas covered by Community Preservation Act, uh, open spaces, uh, historic preservation, so on and so forth, that um, it would just be a matter of taking that recommendation coming from the community, coming through the process we've talked about, and then saying, okay, maybe this isn't, in the recommendation we should make, maybe that isn't to come out of the fund. Maybe it's appropriate that that could be uh, uh, recommended as a, as a Community Preservation Act uh, as a funding source for it in, in whatever way that would then be, be applied for but, uh, or, or directed. That's what I think it was more in mind, not so much about you know, grant funding or going to private donors. I mean, that may come up. There are things in the works with Amherst College. There are things that could be in the works with UMass, what have you. But um, but again, I, uh, I think that will ultimately be something the, com uh, the committee might want to play an advisory role in, uh, uh, but but not necessarily being the, uh, I don't think that's what was considered there in finding other funding streams. Thank you. It's, um, yeah. Lynn? I said that's just, use, that's useful. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, so we've got, um, three, four more that we haven't really talked about. Consult with the Black community on a biannual. Oops, George. I uh, just again, just be, I'm not sure we're agreed with that last statement. Identify possible this additional one. sources okay. of funding for reparative justice work. Um, uh, Councilor Ete had raised the concern, which I share, that it might create false expectations. Um. Uh, Dr. Shabazz made it clear that that there's they had other ideas in mind which are interesting and um, does this cover that? Um, does it do we even need to have this here since these are recommendations that could be made um, without us? Um, yeah, I don't. I guess again, I'm back to uh, whether this is needed and if it is needed, is the language broad enough and vague enough? Um, and does it, does it, um, uh, there is also still the concern of Councilor Etta that it creates this notion that somehow um, if you uh, identify the sources, um, then there's expectation that the town will pursue it. And they're very, in some cases, that may not be possible. Thank you. Pat? 
You're muted. You're muted. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, work with other town committees and departments to pursue reparative projects and initiatives where share goal, shared goals are present. Isn't that part of what we're saying? It's like we find out from the Conservation Commission there's something that would fit in with this. Um, and funding might come from a grant that they apply for. But that there is sort of, so it, for me, it feels embedded in that work with other town committees. But I would like to hear from Dr. Shabazz. Dr. Shabazz? Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I don't think you need this bottom one as a standalone bullet. I think in the one right before it, that it could expand to say uh, expenditures, if you're advising uh, and making recommendations uh, on expenditures of funds from the town's reparations fund or other appropriate source or other. So that that's really where uh, the the point could be made. Other other potential funding source. Uh, but I don't think you need this as a separate. And and I can see the mixed signals or confusion that it might generate for for members of the committee. I'm going to jot that note down so that we can look at it to discuss. Is that a separate relevant? I think. All right, Councillor Arte. So, in a sense, I do agree with um, Pat that there's something in that bullet point. But on the other hand, working with other committees and departments to pursue reparative projects might not involve funding. And so there is still the question of funding that could be addressed. Um, if we go to the CSSGC charge, the final two bullets in a way point to what the mixed signal might be because the penultimate bullet says ensure that the town back up recommend funding sources including grants which is what we were having the discussion um, previously before but then the final point is provide inputs into the budget process and I think what we are trying to figure out is, are we speaking about input into some kind of budgetary process or are we speaking about seeking for grants from other sources? Thank you. I'm gonna raise my hand here. I don't, I don't find this last bullet terribly objectionable, but I'd like to add identify possible additional sources of funding. I think for reparative justice work is so broad. I think we should clarify this to say for, um, for recommendations approved by the town council. I think it should be specific to what it is that we're asking them to do. I think circling back to that would help. I am not as comfortable because I don't think it's specific enough to put this framing into the bullet before it. Um, I think we need to be really clear that, I, I mean, the example that Dr. Shabazz gave is great and makes a lot of sense, but I don't think that this wording captures what he was saying. And I want to, I want to adjust it because um, as it reads now, it's kind of really, really, really wide open. Um, so I, those are my two thoughts. I, I think this bullet is fine if, if it would read for, um, for recommended actions on the approved by the council or something like that. Um, and then, um, so if I, if I'm going to just type my thoughts here, if that's okay, uh, additional sources of funding for recommendations by the town council. Um, expenditure. And then with this one, it was, um, I don't have the wording yet for this one, but if my point is understood, Dr. Shabazz. Yeah, I, I just really want to be clear. When we started 
the from the at the very first uh very beginning that back in September when as soon as we were all all assembled we jumped right on the the money issue and then that that sort of take took over everything weekly meetings you know until because we were thinking about the budget cycle the budget process and and we started going in right on that before addressing any thing else. I really hoped that what we did meant that the future body doesn't need to worry about this anymore. The future body needs to be, you know, engaging with the community, figuring out the the kinds of, of priorities and, and what's important, uh, fashioning that into a workable proposal that that can be uh, sent to the council, hopefully in ways that then the council doesn't have to take that and move it back to finance and move it to this, move it to that, because that that would be the work of this group to already sort of sound out, you know, if it's something involving planning, that they've sound out the planning board, if it's something involving the finance, that it's within the scope of of, of what's already available there, as Lynn has been saying, would take 3% of the fund or 4% of the fund. That's already in range. So there's no real reason that it's got to then be cycled back through finance committee to figure it out. So I really think the work ought to not be dealing with finances any very much at that point. It's to go and to deal with what are what the important reparative justice work as that the community is sensing, the community is feeling, developing that into, into something really precise and actionable and that falls in line with the kinds of funds that, that are available. And if it doesn't fall in line with what's available, then yes, that becomes something that that committee would, would want to, to, to raise again to advise and to make suggestions about it, but not be strapped with the work of it, of, of trying to figure out how do we write a grant or how do we talk to the, to, you know, is somebody available that can work with us mm -hmm. on getting a grant for this? Or can we go, you know, it, it, it it's only to really think about if there are other sources that might be appropriate than the set aside fund such that if it is something that falls in line with conservation, falls in line with community preservation, falls in line with areas that already have buckets of money going, uh, that, that it would be appropriate to, to, that's what you'd be doing. But I think that the work of this group should not be having to figure out funding uh, that it, it takes too much time, it overwhelms the work, and then you're not doing what you're really there to do, which is to figure out what are the priorities, what are the important issues that that could be addressed, and then bringing and then working those up into a workable proposal. I, I just would really say, let's try to not strap this future group with having to worry about being a fundraising committee. Thank you. That was very compelling. Um, Councilor Ryan. So based on that, what might, I think you were, uh, I would strike the last bullet, I would suggest, and I would yeah. strike the last clause in the next bullet. And I would argue that, uh, well, don't, we don't want to lose it because you may not agree with oh, my sorry. <laughs> I know. It's, I can't, how do I edit and edit and edit? Oh, my gosh. Sorry. You know, but I hear you. I mean, yes. you're, you're doing yeoman's job here. Please don't. It's not. Uh, my thought is to take out then the language related to funding other than the town's reparations funds, which is the point of that bullet, right? And that my argument is that the bullet that Pat had highlighted and Councillor Ette had pointed out, work with other town committees and departments to pursue reparative projects and initiatives where shared goals are present. W would people agree that that language is sufficient to include a number of the things that Dr. Shabazz was, was suggesting. So yeah. that, um, and it gets the money out of the, you know, other than the reparation fund itself, it doesn't drag this body into the, the money issue. But if in fact they see opportunities through uh, Community Preservation Act or planning or whatever, to use existing streams of funds um, and, and programs that are, you know, where, where, there's a, where there's a place for cooperation, that's what this bullet seems to say. So I think that bullet does that work and the reparations fund 
specifically does its work and everything else that you've stricken could be stricken. Thank you, Judge. Um, my question with that, with what you said, I don't have any opposition to this bullet. I think my, my question is that we were so focused up here on being clear that we wanted them to focus on the AHRA report and then right. other things that they deemed important. And this feels a bit kind of carte blanche to whatever other committees are also working on. I want to make sure that folks are okay with that. I'm not opposed to it necessarily, but I think in my reading of it, we've been so kind of focused on the report, focused on the report, and this is pursue reparative projects. That's not necessarily the recommendations that we talked about before. Is it anything that this committee deems to be reparative? They can full speed ahead on. Um, are folks comfortable with that? Mm. I'm comfortable with it. I mean, I feel like um, the report and the recommendations in the report are very important. The history that's embedded in the report is critical. But what I also see is the voice of the larger Black community having effect, having the power to affect some of the ways this funding is used. Um, and so for me, it's, it feels very important. And working with, if we're really going to have a social justice lens, then every committee is going to be hopefully working anyway and can collect. So, uh, those sh working with other committees, uh, it becomes very important. Other departments and things like that become uh, important. And I think it should be stay there. Great. Thank you. Councilor Atta. I agree with that bullet point. I do wonder then if it is necessary to have the next one, which is work with the CSSGC and HRC, because those are also committees in town. Mm -hmm. And by having it as a charge here, and perhaps it's not a charge in those other committees, we give is an imbalance of power mm -hmm. between those committees. Thank you. Councillor Ryan? This is helpful to me. Um, I think you put your, your finger on something important, uh, that how we're looking at this as a very narrow charge or one that opens up to a much broader uh, uh, potential area, all centered around the notion of reparative justice. And I think initially in my thinking, I was thinking this is a successor committee with a very narrow charge. But what I'm hearing and I'm thinking myself is, no, that's not quite really what we're we're shaping here. And so this this bullet point, I think, makes that point. And it sounds like the rest of you are, are very comfortable with that notion of kind of opening this up a bit. OK, Dr. Shabazz. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, full... Councilor Ryan. Go ahead. OK, go ahead, Dr. Shabazz. I, I'm in full agreement, I think, at the time, because of certain things that were that were uh, present within the Human Rights Commission and within the CSSJC, it seemed important at the time of the report to spotlight those, but definitely we we envision this all across the board. So I think the preceding one about working with town committees and departments definitely embraces HRC and CSSJC as a part of that, but then it doesn't preclude or make it seem as though the others are are secondary, such as environmental or climate change, you know, or or a, other areas that are that are there. So I, I'm in full agreement for the reasons okay. given. Great. Thank you. So I'm going to strike this bullet that's highlighted. Ah, without messing everything up, I'm going to strike this bullet that's highlighted. Um, and we've got we we have two that haven't been touched, um, three really. So we liked this one. We're good with this one. The work with other town. Oh, oh sorry, Dr. Shabazz, did you have something else to add, or is that a lingering, lingering hand? Whoa, sorry, someone just unmuted something in the other room at my house. Um, all right. Uh, accept proposals from the community through a process determined by this body. 
I'm, that's part of what I think we assume they're going to do. Excellent. Okay, great. Uh, consult with the Black community on a biannual basis about the allocations of reparations funds. To be clear, does this mean twice a year or every other year? That's always my question when I see biannual. I Instead of saying biannual, I just, on a regular basis, and, and let the committee decide. Oh. Or on Any a thoughts on that? I, I, I agree with that. That that makes great sense. Okay. And on avoids confusion. Is that... Yeah. I, I might be the only one who gets confused, but I I never know. Um, you are not alone. Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> um, do we want to add the notion of that broader um, perspective here? Is it going to be just about the allocation of funds? Um, or would it also include a discussion of the broader issues of reparative justice and the black community? Um, or uh, that's just the thought. I mean, um, mm -hmm. or is it always going to be just, okay, every time we reach out to the black community, we're talking about allocation of money. I would think that in fact, the discussion would be much more broad ranging and multifaceted, but, um, and so you could just add something to the effect about the allocation of reparation funds and broader issues of reparative justice, um, something like that. Um, or is it, uh, that's just a thought, but given the focus, we, we, we seem to be heading towards a more broader perspective. Do you want to broaden this as well or leave it as it is? Um, let's, oops. Sorry. Go ahead, Lynn. Let's no, talk no, about no. that in relationship to other committee charges where other committees may feel they have some of that same responsibility. Ryan. I guess I'm just thinking, and again, Dr. Shabazz may want to weigh in here, but from the perspective of this body, um, every time they reach out to the to the community, the Black community, to have these discussions, is it just going to be about reparation funds? Right. Pat? Oh, you're muted. Um, okay, sorry, you got that. No, I'm not. <laughs> it just took a minute. You are not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at some uh, comments that came in ages and ages ago about the the charge. And one of them uh, is looking at conduct a public forum for input regarding proposals under consideration. Isn't, you know, I hear what you're saying, George, about a larger conversation. Um, but I think in, in terms of what's what becomes critical here is what does the black community think of the proposals that are coming forward um so i would like to delineate it because certainly that you could have uh the meetings the community meetings for that broader conversation but the issue here is how do we allocate the money and what do you think so about what we're suggesting so what? you're saying not, I had initially started typing what you were saying, and now I'm realizing you're saying explicitly to not put that in this paragraph. Yeah, I'm, yeah, consult with the back community on a regular basis about the, uh, regarding the proposal, uh, the allocation of reparations or, or regarding other proposals under consideration. It really feels like it's, it's what does the community think about what is being proposed to support right. it? I'm not Wait, being so do you clear. like this or do, or not like it? I'm not sure. Hmm. We can come back to you. Regular There's base. other folks. Yeah, with come, hands come up. back. Come back. Okay. Um, Dr. Shabazz? Yes. Uh, so, in response to one of the co comments, definitely the consultation we expect would not be limited to. A consultation about allocation of funds. So it is about the allocation of funds and the prioritizing of recommendations to, again, take to the council, to submit to the council. So um, uh, exact language and wordsmithing, I leave to to you all there, but it, but I do want to say that the direction we envision 
was a direction of coming from this consultation process out to the to the committee, out to the council, not something generated right. uh, from the council or from the committee Absolutely. or from, you know, and to, and then here you all now we're we're coming to you to say this is what you want or this is how how much you want. No, it it was to be, to come the other way uh, from from the community then in the consultation process debating discussing amongst themselves from the variety of ideas that that uh, uh, oh well I'll just say this quickly the uh and 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 Lynn may pull 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 her hair out uh, upon hearing it, this but the <laughs> example was that the the two times and the reason reason why it was two times and I'm fine that you on a regular basis but was to if you could create a black town meeting with like a moderator and with you know warrants that people would submit in advance that people could look at before the black town meeting was held but then at the black town meeting people get 3 minutes speak to different warrants speak to debate and then vote up or down which warrants they want the committee to then go and work on, take to the council, so on and so, figure out the money part, so on and so forth. That was the kind of democratic process that was envisioned and was discussed within AHRA. So again, wordsmith this as you want, but it definitely is not just a question of the allocation of funds. Thank you. Thank you. It's almost like a caucus um, that you're describing in some ways. Yeah. I think. Um, Pat, count, uh, Pat. Yeah, Councilor, I think. Go first if he wants. Okay, Councilor, I think. I think we just substitute and for all. Okay. Pat? Uh, I, I was going to say, um, take out about uh, on a regular basis regarding um, about the, uh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I'm not going to, it, it just seems to me the important thing is what are the proposals under consideration and what, is, what does the community think of it? But also uh, what is the community proposing um, that this committee is then going to try to bring forward? I don't know. I can sit with what uh, Councillor Ette said. Councillor Ryan? Yeah. Um, just wordsmithing in my head. I'm not sure it's worth. Um, and regarding other proposals under consideration. Right. Seems a bit. Yeah. You know. I, okay. I, I'm going to raise my own hand. Um, I like the idea of including other proposals under consideration because I think it stands the test of time with this group a little bit more than um, being so specific about regarding recommendations being put forward to the council, right? So I think that this gets a little bit, this will last longer. And Pat, to your point, this second, or second, whatever bullet, um, is I think getting at what you were talking about with accept, accepting proposals. Um, in some ways too. So I think that these two, regarding other proposals under consideration and accepting proposals kind of wed well together um, over time in my mind. Hmm. That's a good point. I'm comfortable with I'm comfortable with these as as written. Thank you, Dr. Schwaz. Every once in a while I have a good point. Councillor Ryan. Occasionally. <laughs> so, I said every once in a while. Okay, sorry, Councillor Ryan. So if we were to add something at the end addressing the issue of reparative justice i'm just I, I just the phrase other proposals under consideration seems so sort of limp um but maybe it's obvious from the context but you're talking about reparation funds in the first part of the clause the second part is you know based and regarding other proposals uh, um under consideration i guess you could have um uh, regarding the issue of reparative justice regarding reparative justice I, i'm just wondering if you want that phrase to um, reemphasize or whether it's needed. I, I don't know. I think it's needed, but okay. and I don't think you I need don't think it hurts. 
I don't by the committee necessarily. I, I mean, the proposals could be who knows where they come from, but um, could be from the committee. It could become uh, who knows. But basically, it's an. If, if I understood Dr. Shabazz's point, uh, the conversation will be wide ranging, and it will certainly be much more than just about the reparation funds. But the focus will be issues that concern the uh, reparative justice, and and proposals related to that. So regarding other proposals under consideration. Um, by the committee regarding reparative justice. Okay. Is that too much? Is that, I mean, I don't know. That's just, I'd like that, having that phrase in there, but that's just me. I agree. Um, sorry, Sandy's barking. Uh, I agree that I like this phrase. I think I would advocate for keeping under consideration by the committee in there because as we've said before, we have other committees that do work that is adjacent to or is directly re uh, reparative justice and um, I think we want to not necessarily set folks up to fail here and, and make sure that we're talking about things that, sorry, this committee is focusing on um, at this point. That's my thought. It was a bit jumbled because my partner went out for a run and my dog is upset she didn't go with her. Um, okay. Any other thoughts here? We are, this is the end of the, end of the charge. So before... I'm very excited and I let us go over time because I'm very excited about how we were having a great conversation. Um, new senses can wait. Uh, any last thoughts on this? Cameron, really might murder me for waiting on new senses for another, we'll see. All right, any last thoughts on this charge? Do you wanna, do you wanna read through it from the start in the messiest, with all the messy cross outs? Before we about, see about- Could we read through it by taking them out? By showing a, a clean copy? I think a clean copy. Yeah, I gotta remember. Clean. I gotta remember how to do that. Um, <laughs> hang on. You, um, you make a mistake here, we'll lose the whole thing. <laughs> I know. Leave I it alone. Know, and and then the you won't be on a happy no, face. No, 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 no. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, Not putting any pressure. Uh, on Mandy does it all the time. Oh yeah, no. But <laughs> yeah, don't, but she knows. She, don't if you lose it, I, it I try, we're gonna kill you. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. She's on vacation. There you go. That's it. All I right. think I did it. Okay. Beautiful. It's going to look still funky, but yeah. That was the most stressed I've ever been today. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, Thank you, everyone. Looks good. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Thanks, Dr. Shabazz. Dr. Shabazz. Thank you. It, um, it's really been important to hear the perspective from that you bring from the community me. tonight. We've learned a lot, and it was thank you. Yeah. It was really critical that y'all were here, so thank you. All right, let's review this one more time before we make a motion. Do we want me to read it out loud or are we comfortable reading to ourselves? We can read. Okay, Under good. purpose, get rid of the extra I. I know, I know. It's going to, it's just going to be. Do it later. Do it later. It's done, it's done, it's done. And composition will also be cut too. That was a linger. Uh, Councilor Ate? Found these capitalized. Where? Sorry, where are you reading? ABRC under the charge. ABRC Shaw. It's Shaw is capitalized, but uh, I don't know if it needs and, to be. Uh, charge. Oh, thank you. Um, it, did you, did in purpose. Agree? I'm sorry. Did we agree that composition was simply not going to be taken out, and we're not going to say anything? We at one point. What? We, were, we were at one point. We, we had talked. talked about encouraging blah, blah, blah. Have we decided not to do that? We did not decide not to do that. We didn't decide how to do it. So composition um, come out until we make that decision. Yep, I agree. I agree, I agree. I'm gonna have to fix Shaw I don't know again. what that up. decision should be, but I think we need, yep. to, we need to- Thank decide. you for remembering. This is why I shouldn't get rid of my comments. Okay. Um, we will come, let's, we'll, do you wanna just do that now? I think we should, that probably, something yeah, we should, yeah, we should, we're trying to look at the final document and that's a, a, something we haven't resolved. So we need to resolve it. I know. We're not going to resolve it, but it's the, the document's not final until yeah. we resolve it. I agree. All right. How do we do this? Uh, Lynn. Uh, no, uh, I'm, I have another comment for, down below. That's all. Okay. Great. So Let's stick to composition. What do we do with um, composition? Um, I feel like I want to just say like the town of Amherst is an equal opportunity employer. <laughs> um, folks who are 
I mean, in other charges, we, do we, what do we say in other charges? Do we say anything about that? I mean, I don't think that we, we did originally. Well, I know when we're talking not about gender, race, et cetera, we do talk about, you know, so many architects, so many this, so many that, people with climate background, so on. That's, that's but a we, natural we thing. We can't to do. phrase it that way, though. Can, well, we, can we, we phrase it, it like, no fewer than three or of the no. voting members no, shall no, represent. That's how we can't. That's no, that's how we can't do it. Okay. We can so, say we can say like we can't say preference will be given to, but like I the, didn't say that. The town of Amherst. I, mean, I know you didn't. I'm saying we could say we we cannot say no more no fewer than three will comprise of X Y Z. Right. But maybe we could say the town of Amherst encourages individuals who identify as black to apply for this committee well, that feel but see my question my thing is my thing is george i don't think that goes in the charge i think that goes in the posting of the vacancy exactly exactly it, it really i don't think there's anything we'd say we're not unless we're looking for specific skills um uh, that you know in other charges you can certainly reference like you can say you know someone you know, you're looking for so many people with climate background or you know, whatever. but do you say that in the charge or? I don't or, think we do have I like take climate action. I'm sure in the climate action charge somewhere there's language to the effect of you know looking for certain kinds of skills or background or whatever. Um, anyway, we could. I think we just take it out. We should just take it out. I think it should go in the posting, um, and we should make sure we say that yeah. when we discuss this at the council. Right. Right. I, I don't know what others think, but I think there's no way we can fine tune this. And No, I appreciate you you bringing it up because it was something we were supposed to talk about. Um, any issues? Uh, under purpose. In, I'm sorry. Yes. Say in light of the town council's longstanding. Yes, Thank you. Okay. Equity, let's take our time and social justice. We continue to missions to carry forward the work of AHRA guided by the Okay, all right. Follow the recommendations. We're back to Pat's concern, and it's a legitimate one. I'm, mm -hmm. I don't think there's an issue, but let's see what people think. Um, but we don't move anything around. But we start with review the recommendations in the report, establish feasibility and priority, provide recommendations for action to the town council based on priority level and feasibility. Mm -hmm. Consult with the Black community on a regular basis about allocation of reparations funds and regarding other proposals under consent. This one's a bit, I know, I don't know if we want to chop it up or just leave it as it is, but basically consult with the Black community on a regular basis. Um, accept proposals from the community through a process determined by this body. Work with other town committees and departments. Do you want to capital? No, we don't, I guess. To pursue reparative projects and initiatives where shared are present and advise and make recommendations to the town council on the expenditure of funds from the town's reparation fund reparations fund pat i'd actually advocate to not move it because it's an ongoing process i think it's fine i see you. what you're saying about putting it making sure they're doing it throughout the the committee members are doing it throughout the feasibility and priority level but i think that I think it fits there as kind of one of the things that is in perpetuity. Lynn? I agree. I think it belongs at the very end because it's about the whole thing. Pat, what do you think of you brought this I up? I just got lost. Are you talking about advise and make recommendations? You had said this part you want to yeah. up further. Oh, um, yeah. But I think I... I guess Lynn is saying she wants it last. I'm saying I like it here. Any I like it there. Show? I like it there. Because they're, they're using the report for their initial right. work. But they're also then meeting with the community, the Black community, and saying, uh, of these, what's most important to you? And somebody says, well, yeah, there are... This and this is important, but let's look at what's just happened here and how do we address that? And somebody else mm -hmm. says, I'm going to write, I'm going to submit a proposal for that, or we should submit a proposal for that. So it feels like it's mm -hmm. part of the process. It feels, I don't know, it feels mm -hmm. like a dynamic oh. connection. Yeah. 
Thank you. Councillor Ryan. So I'm going to propose taking the last bullet point, which is very specific, and moving it up to bullet point, make it bullet point four, and then leave everything else the way it is. And I'd like That'd to take, right. and I'd like to take at least one word out of the wordy one that we've created. And that would be regarding, at least make it a little bit shorter. I'd like to be shorter still, but I think, um, you know, it's, it's yeah. so under consult with the Black community on a regular basis about the allocation of reparations funds and other proposals under consideration by the committee. Is that? And maybe yeah, that's fine. Involving, in, invo involving reparative justice rather than regarding. Well, except the whole thing is about reparative justice. What they wouldn't be proposing something I, that I, I understand. I understand, and that's why we might just take it out again. But right, um, the idea was that is the conversations are certainly not going to be just about the fund. Okay. They're going to be yep. about okay. larger issues, and I thought they just leaving it as larger issues or whatever was a, I, anyway. That was just. And That's I, fine. That's I fine. Would like in, involving rather than regarding, involving reparative justice. But I don't okay, know, so keep it in, but change this to involve. Involving, and, yeah, it's better. And I'd still like to get it to just two lines, but I don't see any way to do that. No. You can make the font smaller. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. All right. Anything else on this? In George's goal of keeping it to two lines, yes. you could say regularly consult with the Black community about the allocation of reparation funds and other proposals under consideration. Regularly consult. Regularly consult, and you get rid of a whole phrase there. That would be nice. Councilor Ate? Consult regularly. Thank you. <laughs> you are going to kill me. <laughs> Well, as a as a Latin scholar, I, I like putting adverbs in strange places, but anyway, that's okay. <laughs> Consult regularly with the black community. All there right, we go. got George's two, two lines. lines. Okay. Could have also just made the margin <laughs> smaller. Anyway, there's so many solutions to this. Councillor Ryan. I move uh that uh we uh what uh, adopt or do, no we declare no. we no. recommend the adoption we recommend, of, recommend that the town council to the town council to the town council that they adopt um, the Amherst Black Reparations Committee charge um as amended or as presented by <laughs> as whatever it's what really as paint. presented yeah Here's where we need a theme. Oh, yeah. I know. It's as presented. Say, as it's presented. presented on the screen right now. As presented. As presented. <laughs> well, no, because there's spacing errors on the screen as it uh, is right I'm now. I'm going to minus the. <laughs> so the, the motion Can is, we start the motion over, please? Thank yes, you. Yes. Um, that um, we recommend that the town council adopt the Amherst Black Reparations Committee charge as presented by the GOL committee on August 22nd. Uh, August 22nd. Yeah, August 22nd. Second. Second. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I don't care. Right, you I'm can call have the vote. it. No, 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 it's fine. You can have it. All right, I'm going to call the vote. Pat DeAngelis. Aye. Lynn Griesmer. Aye. Councillor Ryan. Aye. Councillor Ette. Aye. And I am an I as well. It passes unanimously. I'm going to save this right this moment so I don't lose anything. Um, Dr. Shabazz, thank you so, so much. Yeah. I really, really appreciate, we all really, really appreciate your you. um, your guidance and your help. And please pass our thanks on to Michelle as well. Um, Lynn, do you have any thoughts on when this will be in front of the council? Just because well, we're lucky to have you here. And you might have some We thoughts. can bring this. Do we have another meeting before the ninth? Yes, we do. Okay, then I'm right. Gonna... Don't we? Do we not? I thought we did. I'd have to look at my calendar, and it's not here. I'm going to let me right go right get it. Now. Uh, we have no, a no, meeting no, no. on September fifth. You're I'm checking. Do. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, September fifth. Okay. Yes, we do. I'm going to suggest yeah. that I I think the council agenda on the, the ninth, ninth has room on it. Okay, if it doesn't, I'll move it to the twenty third or twenty sixth. Okay whatever the other one is, but 
here's what I'm going to suggest is let's not try to do the um, bylaw tonight. Instead, oh, let's no, I wasn't going to. Yeah, let's just quickly do the other thing. I hate to say it, but I have a TV show I really want to watch at 8 o'clock. <laughs> Is it the Democratic National Convention? Oh, yes. Excuse me. <laughs> I was trying not to be partisan. Um, oh, come uh, on. A TV show. <laughs> you, you can watch uh, you it can no watch, matter what. You can watch what anything. political exactly. persuasion is, right? You may want to watch it in Hoot, but yes, right. Right. Uh, so you're either hate watching or not. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. So, all of that aside. I agree, Lynn. That's fine. We will. Uh, I, I agree because it's 8.05 now. I didn't think that we'd make any good reasonable dent on nuisance. But um, I would like to just make sure that folks were able to access it, see the comments, and just make sure there weren't any questions um, about it before we get into it, knowing that we're going to get into it at our next meeting. Councilor Ryan? Oh, I have questions, but I'm not sure we can resolve them, uh, at least not here. Okay. It may be resolved only in the, the process of going through it paragraph by paragraph. But the document that we have now uh, from CRC, um, which does have some comments by CRC members, if I understand it and read it correctly, some of the comments are by Pam Rooney and some are by Mandy Johanneke. Uh, no one else commented as far as I could tell. Um, but in the document we have, the lawyer's comments are gone. Um, and so we have a number of things have just disappeared, um, which I guess is fine. But we have the, the lawyer's uh, edited version. Now we have a CRC response to the lawyer's <clears throat> edited version. And I assume we can't just ignore or forget what the lawyers did. We have to kind of, right? So yep. in the packet, I'm, I have yeah. the lawyer's version personally on my computer. Maybe everybody else does too, but I think we're going to need that okay. plus the, the one that you put in the packet. Um, okay. It's going to be, it's not going to be pleasant, but I think that's what we have. Okay. Do. Um, I do think, George, I, I, yes, I think some of the lawyer comments are still in there just listed as author um, from the first round, but I, I agree. I think a lot of them were okay. lost. I can, um, I'll play around with combining the documents to just so we can look on one screen um, that has worked in the past. Uh, but I will, I'll, I'll be sure to put both versions in the packet for the next meeting. Thank and you. A note. Thank you very much. Um, oh, no. no problem. I'll, I'll, and I'll email them to the committee members because I know the packets get posted a bit close to the deadline sometimes. But pull, what am I doing? Put both nuisance. Thank you. Uh, bylaws into packet. All right. Any, uh, Lynn? Yeah, I would suggest that we ask either somebody from CRC to be at our meetings. Yes, yes. And, okay. and I, for instance, there is a definition missing. It's the definition of tenant. Mm -hmm. But let's not get into that stuff. Both yep. uh, right. Councillor Ate and I are on CRC, but I oh, yeah. do think that it should be Pam Rooney or Mandy because... Mm -hmm. uh, Well, I think, I think that that's more be, helpful for you all to be yeah. able to be in a, in your GOL hat. Right, um, it would be, yeah. yeah. We really need okay. someone. Who's um, however, that does mean we have a quorum of CRC. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. That's our president's fault. You know <laughs> I'm what? teasing, Lynn. I'm, teasing. I'd say, I'm not going to take it personally. Um, mm. I think I, as long as we have at uh, Breca and uh, our council, I'd say, and uh, What's her name? Pat here. Pat here. I think it's fine. We don't need anybody else. Um, at, I'm also oh, going to oh. suggest that we do the resolution um, next. Right. Yes, Councillor yeah, Ette is laughing hysterically. So can he share his response, please? I was trying to not cut people <laughs> off anymore. Does anyone else have any commentary about how I'm sharing this meeting right now? We are going fine. to do the resolution next. I'm going to take one more comment from Councillor Ette before we move on. Councillor Ette, what you got? I think it would be helpful to have one of the coaches of CRC at the meeting. From what I gather in a previous comment that Athena had made, you could have that quorum as long as it doesn't exist when a decision is going to be made, then that should be fine. So in, mm -hmm. if there's a discussion, then that's okay. But 
um, whoever it is could be removed at a point when we're about to make a vote. I could also I check with Athena. sit out of the whole thing. I hate stop it. <laughs> you can't say you hate GOL. Um, I no, will I check with not. Athena. I will check with Athena and get back to you all. I hear you though that it would be helpful to have someone from CRC here. We also could ask them to call a special CRC meeting just for the purposes of discussing this bylaw. Um, but I will handle that with Athena. Lynn, anything else? Your hand is up. I, we can also doing? we can also do the resolution next time. No, no, no. We're, we can do it. Oh. You really want to go? I just, there's a certain speech I don't want to miss. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, well, Lynn, there are four of us here, Lynn. You're perfectly free to. to yeah, uh, you can, Lynn, you can duck off. It's okay. We have a I'm one of the sponsors, yeah. and I worked with the people that did it. It's okay. All right. Oh, are there, there any sponsors here? Let's do it real quick. Okay. Let's just try to get through it really quick. Let's be our nicest selves with no. I'm also a sponsor, believe it or not. Right. YouTube, YouTube right. will also probably present the speech that you want to hear. Can I? Uh, um, so we need we need a a good. This is a uh, word document. Yes, yes this is a word good. document. I, so I'll okay. give you two changes right up front. Okay. Um, one is to add uh, Devlin Gothier under counselors. Oh my God! The, you're the only other one that has <laughs> passed. So well, far, well, if she's a sponsor, yeah, then say, you then could go you away. Take, exactly, you can take me off too. I was a late sponsor. Um, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, I didn't know this was happening, but I'm very excited about it happening. Okay, and, and then uh, in the fourth, whereas the um, community sponsors uh, have a correction that needs to be made, and so it would read, uh, whereas the town of Amherst has. In recent years, expanded its network of bike lanes and shared youth paths, including the Swift Way connecting UMass Amherst to MCRT, and is planning more facilities such as these. I object to the word facilities. I think it's a terrible word. Um, I think these are not facilities. Sounds like bathrooms. I know. I would just say projects. Uh, it would That's be good. A natural word. Um, and it's planning fine. more projects such as these. That's fine. Yep, I agree. That's all. That was my Let's... Thank you. Okay. Um, all right, starting from the top. Get any, rid of Amherst Town Council. Yeah, get the Amherst Town Council header should be, not be there. Right? Where are you talking about? Where very talking top, about? very top line. Amherst Town Council September. What the oh, heck is that there? Oh, sorry. For? Yeah. That goes away. I don't know. Do we really want to have... And the resolution is, please, Pat, let me do my thing. A resolution should be at the top. And the council's sponsors should be underneath it. Yes, you're correct. Thank you. It's all right. Just, just let's get it out of. It. So, just de delete. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. You're doing great. You're doing great. All right. That's my Ooh, next up. Okay. Then we just go through it. I. It's it's good. All right. First, whereas any changes. My only question was: Do we typically have hyperlinks in no, the text of it? No, don't. That's what I Thank was going to say. Okay. We can check that out. All right. I don't okay. mind that it's hyperlinked. I just don't want the website to have to be read out loud. Okay. So hyperlinks are okay, right. but the URLs are not. Okay. I, I think so. Fine. Um, wait, wait. Okay. Next. Oh. Uh, the westernmost portion the, of the Mass Central Rail Trail. Mm, good challenge. Okay. All right. Next, whereas? Why do we have to have that they're the largest employer? I guess it doesn't, I mean, I guess that means they have more uh, staff and faculty. I don't know. I don't care. Clarity, consistency. I don't think it's necessary. Actionability. I don't, yeah. I think it's, it's just, yeah, I agree. I don't think it's up to us. All right, next one, Fine. last decade. Town of Amherst Tav, we already discussed did. this one. Yep. Whereas completion of the MCRT. I have a question. Are you taking out the largest employer thing or leaving it in? We're leaving it in. Okay. Leaving it in. George that's fine. seemed to think it wasn't. Okay. You know. All right. That's fine. As. Oh, wait, hang on. A, a, what does this mean? A. 
as a, a. Okay, it's thank you. a national. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was like, what is it? Okay. All right, we're on to this one. Yep. I think there should be an and here. Which one are we talking about? I'm sorry. Uh, whereas Listen. the completed MCRT would mitigate traffic, facilitate bike and walk to school programs, and improve climate resiliency. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Shouldn't this be recreation? Isn't it recreation. Recreation. recreation right recreational tourism and other tourism? Now it's an adjective. Um, I, I don't know what other tourism would there be, but um, yeah, I guess whatever. Keep going. Ec ecotourism, yeah. So leave it as recreational? It's Yeah, okay. for recreational right. tourism. Unless, well, I can go back to it for a second. I guess it's back to the, I don't know what the sponsors had in mind. It could be for recreation and, well, it's other tourism. So no, it's recreation. Yeah, all it's right, recreation. okay. I don't, I don't like it, but it's fine. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Get rid of the website like thingy. Yes, ma'am. The address. I understand. Thank you. Thank you, dear. The whole internet. Okay. Right. That too. Um, <laughs> okay. Lynn, time. if your speaker was the governor of Massachusetts, you might want to jump off now. Um, oh, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. From, like the record show. I don't think we need this because the record show that Lynn has left at 8.16 p.m. Um, so vital project to push for the completion of the entire MCRT. MCRT stands for Massachusetts Central Rail Trail. So I, yeah. and I think unless we say Boston, Massachusetts, we don't need to say Northampton. I'm being picky, sorry, 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 sorry. I don't, I just don't think this is necessary. The Massachusetts is not necessary. Yes, that's what I'm saying. From Boston okay. to Northampton. Yeah, I agree. Right. That's fine. Yeah. The portion in Amherst, Hadley, and Northampton is complete, but gaps remain in Belgetown are further to. Right. Aren't there times where you capitalize East? Not here. Okay. No, I don't think so. Okay, thank you. I'm fine with this now. It's okay. Yeah. There's some dog okay. that's been barking for the last 15 minutes outside my house somewhere. Oh. Weird. Okay. Go out and look um, after this is over. Well, you can. we still yeah. have a point if you leave, Pat. So Get a uh, new Pat. We're almost done. I know. I'm staying. Okay. Okay. It shouldn't have say that we... Uh, comma, the Amherst Town Council? We. Do we do Yes. Anything? Okay. All right. Come after council. Coraline, I think she only got like the last 30 seconds of that speech. Oh. Well. Um, I feel like this should be two, but I don't know how to break it out, so I'm just going to leave it. I think leave it. It's fine. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, do I have a motion? I move to declare, if you can scroll up so I can read the title of this again, I move to declare yes. the resolution in support of completing the Massachusetts Central Rail Trail to be clear, consistent, and actionable. Second, DeAngelis. Thank you. And I'm going to call the vote. Councilor Ryan? Aye. Uh, I am an aye. Pat? Aye. And Councilor Ate? Aye. All right, folks. We are going to stop it there for tonight. Um, our next meeting, thank you all very much. Our next meeting is September 5th. 
um, at 6.30 and we will be taking up nuisance. I'm gonna reach out to Athena to figure out how to get someone from CRC here for that. And we'll make sure that everybody has all of the copies of that um, bylaw before we before we meet. Thank you all. Thank you so very much, much, Anna. Very much. Yeah. Have a ten minutes early. We're we're doing great. Have a happy rest of your evening, everyone. Same. You too. Take care. Meeting is adjourned at eight twenty p.m. No. Oh, do I need to motion? Sorry, I. I you sorry. have to motion I, and vote. I forgot. Says, I know. I do. Who, says who? who? Who made I, that decision? I don't know. I'm too. Scared. I don't know. Why right, don't we just say that we? <laughs> you're dragging it out. I move we adjourn the meeting at eight twenty p.m. Is there a second? No one's going to second my motion. Are you kidding me right now? Fine. We will sit here. Lovely evening. Oh, I my wanna, God. I, I want to know who requires us to do this. I don't. Is, is, didn't Lynn state start, law uh, start I saying. Don't, didn't Lynn. Second. So this is still part of the recording. Thank you. <laughs> Councilor Ryan. I abstain. Fine. <laughs> Count Pat. Aye. <laughs> Thank you. Councilor Ate. Aye. Thank you. I am an I. Sorry, George. We gotta right. go. And thank All you right. for having a humorous meeting, everyone. It's much more <laughs> humorous style. Not that humorous. Occasionally, occasionally humorous. Right. All right. right. Have a have a wonderful Good evening, night. everybody. Adios. Bye-bye.